Hi guys, welcome back. Uh, during this series we're going to talk about tactical skills and how we look at tactics in base tennis. It's important to realize that a player can only be in five situations. Player can be serving, returning the serve, playing points from the baseline or hitting ground strokes, approaching the net or defending and passing against a player that is at the net. So in order to, to teach those situations, we like to group them into three big categories and we teach them separately. The first uh, category is serve and return. The second category is baseline to baseline. And the third one is baseline to net. So when we split it this way, it is easier for players to realize in what situations they find themselves and what they have to work on, what is their goal and uh, how can they improve in this particular game. So guys, before we start explaining our players the five situations they can be in and the three big categories, obviously one step back has to have happened. The player has to have understood the game of tennis. And by this we mean simply he knows the rules, he knows how to play games, to play points, and so on. Without this background, it's impossible to really grasp what the situations of the game are. Now, once the player has understood what the game of tennis is basically all about, he knows the situations, then we combine these ideas with A, B, C, D, N. And they mean attack, build, counter-attack, defend, or neutralize the point. Pretty much they are the intentions of what you want to do with the ball. Let me elaborate. What is the intention? It's knowing exactly what you want to do with the ball when it's on your court. How you want to solve that situation. To give you an example, let's say I'm under pressure and I'm on the corner and my opponent is attacking me. I definitely want to defend the ball. Most likely I'm gonna go cheap the ball, go high up by myself time. That's my intention. In order to know what you want to do with the ball, a player needs to assess, read many things at the same time. Number one, where is my position on the tennis court? As in, am I at the back? Am I on the baseline? Am I inside the court? Number two, how much time do I have to solve the situation? Do I have plenty of time? Do I get there on time? Am I being rushed? Which brings me to the third point. How am I feeling the ground? How am I set up for the ball? Am I on my feet on the ground with time? Or am I really unbalanced? We have said that reading is a very complex phase of the cycle. So on top of the ones that I just mentioned, you also have to know where the opponent is on the other side of the court, where there is space to play the next ball, read what kind of ball I'm receiving in terms of depth, spin, speed, and so on. And then I have to decide what do I do with the racket? Remember, pass and DHT and then what kind of ball I want to send back to my opponent to better solve the situation I'm in. Now, you may be thinking in your head, when can I teach this? How, what's the right age? And that is actually not the right approach to look at this. As I said, what is important is that the player already kind of understands what the game is about. Does he know the rules? Does he know where to start a point from? Does he know where to start when he needs to receive? Does he know what a ball is in, out, leg, and so on? Once a person has that understanding, then you can start teaching this. Teaching this before that doesn't really make sense for the player unless you're teaching rules of the game and then you say, by the way, this is your position. You're serving. By the way, this is your position. You are returning. So that's when both of them kind of start mixing but if you really explicitly want to explain the intention of the point, the player must understood already what the game is all about.